All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to set up the free Blender Octane render in 2023. Let's get straight to it. First thing first, you want to go down to the Otoy website. This is the only place where you can get it, not at the Blender site. Uh, basically, type in Blender Octane in Google search, and then you'll, it'll bring you to this website here. Before you do anything, make sure you make an account. It's required, otherwise you won't be able to use the, the uh, plugin. So make an account, save your password, get all that ready to go. Once you are done with that, you wanna click down here to free trial. Once you're on side of here, you're gonna click on Octane Prime free tier. And here it is, Octane Prime free tier, CUDA. You're gonna need a GPU, make sure you have that. Click on Blender and here, free for personal and commercial use, right? That's good. Click on try now. Once you're in here, you're gonna to need to download here the Blender Octane Render Edition, and you're gonna also need to download the Blender Octane Server Prime. This is gonna allow us to log into the Octane Render and then basically use it inside of the Blender here. Once you have these two downloaded and on your system, uh, if you have any type of issues, click right here, see the manual for further instruction. This is extremely useful. And I'm always in this thing 100% all the time. Every time I use Octane, unfortunately, it's not a lot of videos about this. That's why I'm starting to make some videos here. So once you're inside of here, let's jump into Blender. If you are a beginner to Blender, I do not advise you using Octane Render. You won't be able to follow along with most tutorials, especially when it gets into making materials. If you are somebody who's very familiar with Blender, then I would recommend it to you. But if you are a complete Blender user, newbie, don't download this, okay? So boom, once you get that all downloaded and once you log in, what you're going to need to do after it's installed, you're going to need to click on this little button here and it's already running for me. Let me go ahead and actually close it for a moment here so I can show you what it's gonna look like. Uh, this is the basically how we will click onto the server to use it. You're gonna need to activate this and for the first time, when you do it for the first time, it's gonna ask you to put your username in and your password. And then once you do that, it, 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 it won't pop up again. So for me here, now it says here, if I double click on it, it'll show it. And it says for me at the moment, Octane is not active. So this is where I would click on activate and it would prompt you to put in your username and password. I don't think it's gonna do it for me because I already signed in basically. This is what I get here. It says my, there's my username, uh, my license number, which once it's green, Octane is active for Otoy account. That means you are good to go. Then you're gonna jump into the Octane Blender version. I have other blenders on here, but make sure you use the Octane one. It says Blender Octane Edition. And this is what you may encounter. And you might immediately go straight over here and like, hey, I don't even see it. There's nothing here, it just says cycles, right? Okay, go to edit preferences, type in Octane. Or you can just type in OCT, there it is. Octane Renders 7.5, if I click down on here, here it is, we got Octane, right? Here's everything ready to go. We'll go ahead and close that. Now, if we come back over here, we go to Octane and then we hit render. This is what we got. You're like, uh, how come I can't see anything, right? Nothing looks right. Make sure you have a camera, first of all, always in your scene. And then we jump in our camera, we still don't really see anything. And that's because our colors, are, or everything is set up for Blender. So what we're gonna need to do, let me go ahead and close this for a second. I mean, close that. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom, all the way down to color management. I'm gonna pop this open. And we're gonna take sRGB, turn that to none, then leave everything else and standard. Yeah, everything else. Just leave it as, turn that to none. Then what I'm gonna do is come back up here, scroll up just a little bit, and let's go to device preferences. Now here is basically our my, my GPU. And if you have multiple GPUs, you can only use one with the free version of Octane. You have to do the prime or the, the paid version, prime Octane, and then you can utilize multiple GPUs. But for us, it's just the one, right? If you do have a uh, RTX card acceleration, you make sure that is checked. It's checked by default. I just leave it on. Now let's jump back in and it still doesn't look right. We don't really see anything, right? So let's go ahead and turn that off again. Now what we're going to do, <clears throat> scroll all the way back up to the top, Here's our render settings. Like here's our viewport's gonna be at 100. Here's our output is gonna be up at uh, 500 samples. We're gonna make sure we're on path trace, which is already set us up for. Uh, we're all good with that. What we wanna do is go to our world tab, our world settings here. And in my world settings here, we can see this here, environment, visible environment. There's nothing selected, right? So what we can do here 
um, just for the sake, I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I'm going to click daylight environment. Boom. There it is. Now we finally can see something, right? This is what we got there. So good. Now I know immediately most of you guys are going to want to load in an HDRI. Just wait for a moment. We'll get to that and I'll, I'll, I'll have another video for that. Let's just stay with this for a moment. So what we're going to need to do is set up our camera. We're going to go ahead and press in. I'm going to click on the octane tab here scroll this tab down and let me pull it out just a little bit to give us some more screen we're going to need to set this up <clears throat> excuse me every time you import a camera you're going to need to change this unless you hit overwrite now this is going to basically make overwrite everything this is the master control here we can control the exposure of our scene right there it is there's that and then also we can come down to here. We can add in different uh, color spaces, which I've a, I'm a different file. I have ACES in here, but I thought I set this back to stop for you guys. So what we're going to do is here is our sRGB response. So we're in sRGB. OK, that's good. There are other lookups in there, which I'm not going to get into. And then let's set up our denoiser because this bugged me for a while. I couldn't figure out how to set up the denoiser. Now, just to make our scene look a little bit better, I'm going to go ahead and add in a plane. I'm going to scale that up just like that so we can have that. And I'm going to go GZ1 just so that's sitting on the plane. I'm going to jump into my camera. All right, so I'm going to show you how to set up this denoiser, right? Because this was a little bit of a pain. So on our denoiser, we click right here. We hit denoise. and you, you think it's doing something, but it's really not doing something. Here it says denoise on completion. I just take that off, right? So if what we need to do, go ahead and close all of this now, press in, and then we're gonna go into our passes. And in our passes here, we got this classic render set and we got combined. Right now we're previewing the combined, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna see our denoise. We click on this, here's all of our passes inside of Octane, which is nice and lovely. Uh, we're gonna go down to denoising beauty, and then boom, here is our denoiser. Now we'll be seeing our denoise action when it kicks in. It's already working here. You can clearly see that, right? Let me go ahead and shake up the scene a little bit, move it up again, and you see how it's crappy, crappy, crappy. And it, it takes a little bit of time for the denoiser to kick in depending on your GPU. So that's what I, at least I've heard and I've, I've dealt with. So um, it is what it is, but it, it kicks in. Now that's pretty much it. And you've got your thing set up here. Now, as far as getting into the lights and other things like that, it's going to be um, I'm going to pop out some other videos here. So this next video is going to be about how to set up an HDR. If you want to see that, take a look at this video.